is Kjell from Denmark. Welcome to my channel and my shop. And if you click on this tool here, you will come to a place on my website where you can see my finished projects. There's a lot of them, uh, even though I'm working on a lot of projects too in the pipeline. And uh, that's how I am. If you click on the logo down in the corner there, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and me and my staff will be very happy if you do a subscription. Hope you like what you see and come back and share my videos with your neighbors and friends and colleagues and uh, thanks for watching. It's a new day and I'm uh, starting on machining this piece here. And how, how should I do that? I think I have a, a relatively nice surface here. So I think I can put that up against the chuck and then hold it in this hub here. And then set it up so it runs relatively true. And uh, cut off this piece here so I have a long hop here then I can machine this side to run true with this hop here and then turn it around and get the rest of the, the shit uh, turned I think so um, I think I'll chuck off chop off this piece here with a hacksaw in the vise here so um, I'll do that off camera. Now I set it up in the four jaw and just chucked it up and ensure that this relatively nice edge here is hitting all four <coughs> four jaws and then tighten it up and tighten every single one of them and then let's see how nice it runs not that bad. I don't think I can I can uh, adjust it more with these uneven surfaces here. So I'll face off this here and try cleaning up inside here and then turn it around to get uh, I'll take this edge here too so I have a nice edge to jog onto or put register against the jaws here again yeah I'll do that The center hub here and uh, it's not a very nice surface but uh, never mind that and I nearly cleared up on the inner diameter of the rim out here I think I'll take a millimeter or more uh, there's still room in, enough here to get a nice surface on the outer diameter so I'll take a little more on the inner diameter here Yeah. 
find some uh, round bits here so I can round the corners here and clean up the, the um, inner surface here. If I can find one, I'll take some of the sharp corners here too. Now I cleaned it up the the inner diameter there of the rim and I'm rounding off the corner and then this surface here there's a lot of meat I can I can take more to even this surface too and I think I'll do it to get rid of these cavities there. So um, I'll go a little farther in. Now I'm finished, I think. The rest I'll let be. That's the worst case there. And if it's a problem when I'm mounting it on the motor then I can do some crowning and then get this get rid of this too and inside I think I got it very nice so um, now I'll turn it around and get the other side done now I've done the other side too and I think it's very nice. I'm satisfied. There are some cavities here and there, but um, I'm sure if you look on some other casted aluminum wheels, they are too. They are too. There was a lot of chatter because I had this long stick out on my cutter there. But I used a carbide cutter with a, um, with a round radius on the end here, not carbide. Uh, yeah, carbide, yeah, on the end. And that forms a radius in there, in this corner, and in this corner here too. And the same on the other side. And I think I broke the edges, yes. Now I just had to send it really then bore for the uh, motor axle. But I think uh, I'll have some coffee now. Now I bought it with a 19 millimeter uh, drill and this is a 20 millimeter reamer so um, I haven't got other drills so let's see There should be a key way there too, but uh, the only way I can do it is with uh, the saddle here and mount the cut the cross in the tool holder and then do it back and forth here. 
Just deeper this edge here and then that's it. Yeah. There we have the motor axle and the key seat I think it's called. And here we have the wheel. And look here. Wrong measurement. So now I'll have to make a sleeve and press it in here. Wonder who took, took that measurement. But uh, that's how it is now. But I think this casting looks very nice. And um, next time I can do it better. <laughs> And I'll try to use this one here. And we, if if it makes some problems, then I'll crown this wheel here too. And then get rid of these cavities here. Yeah, that's nice. Never mind. Uh, see you next time for mounting.